Hi everyone. Right, um, I've just been working on this project. This is just like um, a sample. Um, I've I've got the idea in my head, but I haven't got the equipment. So I'm going to have to use what I've used the equipment that I have got, um, and then hopefully when I go shopping um, with Rachel next week, I'll be able to get some. Uh, bits and pieces to do the one that's in my head so for now I've just had to um, do a sample let's say and uh, I got the idea from this picture which is oh, sorry it's a um, gothic book I haven't got any of this foliage the leaves in that I've just thought I have I've got a punch haven't I oh silly old oh bum look I've got that one I could have used oh bum never mind well now I know I've got that I'll be able to do something similar Um. so I, like, I love the border Um. I don't have the leather binding I'm saying that I've got something else I've, do you know I've <laughs> I've been sat here. I have. I've got leather. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Never mind. That's another thing I could have used. I never thought about it until I've just seen this again. Um, so, anyway, this is what I've... I found a picture of. And I've always wanted to do, like, a gothic book. But, you know, I want proper brass hinges and proper brass corners and things like that, which I'm going to go out and get, like I say. But for now, I've had to use the Tim Holtz ones. But this is my version. Oops, sorry. You're not going to be able to see it. I'll just let me move some bits and pieces and hope we can... Um... Oops. Ah, oh, dearie me. Where are we? Um... Like I say, this is my version at the moment. It's um, you're just using basically the things I had in. Sorry about all that juggling about, but mm. and um, and so what I've done, I've cut three boards which were ten inch, uh, ten inch long, by eight inches across, and then what I did was um, out of one of the boards I made uh, this shape and all I did for that I used the ruler to measure out an inch in all the way around and cut myself a border I then glued that on top of the top card the top page and then I had the Tim Holt um, lock uh, the crown and the hinges and so what I did um, I glued all those on and I've done, I've glued everything on before I've actually done anything with it just to get an idea next time everything will be done individually and then placed on because there's a couple of bits I wanted to change but then I cut out oops um, lots of these little chips from chipboard and I glued those on as well all the way around I'm not I'm, I'm trying I'm not sure if you can actually see this one I mean I've got gems in and everything but like I say I stuck those on obviously not doing the bit where the corner is but that doesn't matter and and then I used I drew I hand drew this cross uh, roughly going off what was already on that one so you just get in the basic shape and I didn't want to fiddle about cutting all the inner, inners out, but if I can, I'm, I'm going to look for something metally that I can do, or buy a big cross, or make a big cross. Like I would, I might do that, um, and and do you know get the filigree side of it because I really do like that cross on the other one. But for now, I just cut it out of a piece of paper, coloured it, uh, painted it black first, then coloured it gold. I'm not sure if you can see this properly. Seems to be a bit blurred on one side. And then, like I say, I stuck that into the middle. Um, before doing that, I actually painted everything black. 
and then I went over it with the silver when it had dried. I helped it along with the heat gun because I, I just wanted to get this one done to give me an idea of what I want to do next. Um, I then um, went over with the uh, gold with the crown, the hinges and the cross. I did the cross before I actually put that on uh, and the lock. Uh, I then added some gems and I've got little white clear ones here. These were off a pendants. I'm not sure if you can see that. The, you know, they were actually from a pen. Oh, sorry, from a pendant. So I just snipped all of them off and bent them up, and I ended up with that. And um, and then what I did, put a couple of leaves, or well, a few leaves on, up the cross, and and then round some wound some roses round. And uh, I didn't want to put too many on. I probably could have done with a couple of colours actually but now I've seen what I've done here that's what I will look out for next time and um, I never gave it a thought but I have got some small tiles uh, black and brown and tan tiles I could have used so that's another thing I could have used um, it's just, <laughs> it was basically I needed to get it out my head while I could while I remembered about it after seeing that picture I've always had something in my head like this anyway but um, I'm, I'm just trying to find the right things like the book corners I actually used on the um, wooden box that um, I did so I would have liked to have had wooden uh, sorry metal corners on here as well so I will be getting some more of those for that particular reason and like I say adding all the gems and I think it turned out all right so that's the book. Sorry. And uh, I do have some gothic writing that I might put underneath here. So I just thought I'll share that with you. Oh, sorry. Do you know? <laughs> oh, it's awful. It really is. But I do like this. I do like it a lot. Um, it's given me the basics of what I need uh, to do for the one that's in my head. I just need to gather the resources up for that one and uh, see how we go. I've actually done the back as well. Uh, but for now, it's, I'm going to change this because I want the back to have this um, like frame on it as well. But like I say, for this one, it, it, it's just um, a prototype sort of thing and then I've, I've put the twine in well I don't want the twine um, I actually want mine to be held with either a chain or um, leather um, I don't know I'll see how we get on and see what materials I can actually find but for now I've just put in some um, card white card that I can uh, use if I want to I will be using it and um, yeah in fact, I might actually change the way that's in. I might just do the ties that are like that. Uh, ring binders, whatever, really. I'm not bothered. But anyway, I just thought I'll show you that. Um, I've quite enjoyed doing it. Show you once more. And maybe you, somebody can come along and do a lot better. Um like I say, if I'd had the right equipment, I would have been able to do a lot more with it. I've got the picture in my head of a very old gothic book. I need the resources to get it out. And uh, I'm going to be going around looking for them now and putting them all together. Now I've done this. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for dropping by. See you again.